Hi guys, Andrew from The Art of WordPress, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a 30-day trial of lead pages for $1. Now, a lot's changed since the first video I made showing you how to do this, so I've decided to make a second one uh, to make it a bit more relevant. Uh, even though you probably could have figured it out from the first one, um, this one will show you, because lead pages have completely redesigned their site, uh, almost all of it. Uh, the pricing's changed, There's a, they've added the drag and drop builder. So a lot's changed, so that's why I've decided to remake this video. So first, let's go to pricing. We'll see what's changed there. Now, you should know that they used to offer a monthly plan, but they obviously decided to lock, try and lock you in a little bit longer, so they've, owned, they've changed the monthly to quarterly. So at the end of this 30 days, quarterly payment, that's the only option you're gonna have, uh, other than annual or two years. So you obviously save more if you, click, if you use annual. It's $25 a month. Two years, is, it works out to be $17 a month, but that's uh, a pretty big upfront cost uh, if, you, if you were to uh, take the two year standard. That may be good for some people, other people may not be able to afford it, but just so you know, you will be charged $111 if you choose the very bare minimum standard plan um, of $37. Now you still get access to all the templates, uh, as you can see, um, you just don't get access to a, a few more of the more advanced features like lead digits and lead links. But just be aware that uh, at the end of the trial, you will only have a quarterly option as the, as the lowest plan you can go on. So if you click the link or the button on this page, you're going to be on the lead pages homepage, which is right here. So we're gonna get right into it, uh, get your 30 day trial started. Now click on templates, and then click on price down here. Now that'll sort the templates from high to low. So we're looking for the $1 templates and that probably gives away how we're gonna do this. So scroll all the way to the bottom. Depending on how quick your internet connection is, it may take a little bit of time to refresh when you hit the bottom, but keep scrolling. You will find $1 templates, they do still exist. So if you haven't got there, if you're not at the bottom yet and you think you've ran out, it's just your screen hasn't refreshed, so you may have to reload the page. But you can see we're at $7, we're still going. See, sometimes it sits like that for a little while, uh, but it will refresh. So we've hit the $1 templates. And you'll either hit the $1 templates or you'll come to a section called free to all lead pages customers. Now, it doesn't matter which of these templates you purchase, uh, just pick one of the $1 ones. Um, and because you're gonna, when you start your trial, you're gonna get access to all of the templates that you would normally get access to if you were a paying customer anyway. So let's just start with this one. Click on a template and up the top here, it says purchase for $1. So click on that button and you're going to bring up here. Now you won't have a lead pages account, so click no, I don't have a lead pages account. And you'll see there you get a full 30 days of lead pages standard monthly subscription free. So that's how it works. You purchase a $1 template and to be able to use the template, you actually need to have the lead pages software. So lead pages throw in a 30 day trial of that free. So as you've seen, they don't offer that on their site anywhere. Um, but if you know how to do it, then you're one of the lucky ones that are actually going to get to trial it out because most people come in and they'll have to sign up for the three months standard uh, subscription as the minimum. So they're gonna get charged $111 before they've even tried the software out. I don't know how long lead pages will keep this up. They may decide to take this down at, at some point in time. So if you're watching this uh, and you did wanna try lead pages out, you're probably best to, to act now just in case uh, they do take this, this option away at some point in time. So once you've entered your personal information, just click on this I have read and agree to the terms of service and have a look, quick look at the summary. You'll see premium lead pages template, which is $1, uh, and you get a standard, standard subscription free for 30 days. Now, today's, there you go, today's total $1. So I just wanna point out a couple of things. Now, after the first 30 days, you'll be billed for $297. Now, that's why you need to bookmark today's date, two days before, so you can go in and decide whether you wanna keep lead pages, whether you wanna pay the annual subscription, uh, or you want to maybe you want to downgrade to the to the quarterly billing of which will which will bill you $111, but that'll be for three months, so you won't get billed again for another three months. So, uh, alternatively, you may want to cancel completely. So just bookmark this date for two days before, because I don't want you to get charged uh, because you've forgotten. So once you're fine with that, click on the create account and purchase template. Once you've done that, uh, Lead Pages will send you a getting started email with your account information. So open that email, and in there you'll see your login details. So you'll see the login URL, your username, and your password. Click on URL, and then on the login page,
enter your email address and the password that they gave you. And click sign in. All right, so you'll see the Get Started page. Now this is where you need to enter a subdomain. Now this could just be your website, what your website's called, your website domain name. Um, it's really how your URLs are gonna look, your, your links uh, to your lead pages. So if somebody, in my case, I'm just gonna type in Art of WordPress. Now, if someone click, if I decide to use the lead pages URL, it'll look like this, HTTPS forward slash Art of WordPress dot leadpages dot co forward slash and then whatever the page whatever the name I give the page but there is a WordPress plugin which if you do have a WordPress site I encourage you to use that uh, because that'll make all your lead pages appear like they're coming from your actual website so um, if I created a lead page I could use the WordPress plugin and, and make it appear as if it's coming from the art of WordPress dot net forward slash whatever the page name is so this is just if you decide to use a, lead page, a full lead pages URL, but you do need to input it. So just put your business name or your domain name there and hit continue. You'll get asked, you'll get a 10 second questionnaire. Uh, just fill that in quickly and then click submit questionnaire. So when you see this screen, you've prompted, you've got no lead pages in your account. So you can make a lead page straight away or you can come down here and, and check out the the tutorials here. Uh, I'd encourage you if you've never let, used lead pages before, which I'm assuming most of you wouldn't have, um, then watch these videos. They're, they're, they're pretty good. They'll give you an idea of, of what to do and, and what to expect. Uh, and then go on ahead and create your, create your first lead page. So if you clicked on make a lead page, you'll see that you also have access to all of the templates that we saw before. You can filter them for the drag and drop builder. Uh, so there's obviously there's not heaps there at the moment. They are adding more, but it's a it's only a relatively new feature. So you've got the drag and drop templates, uh, or you've got standard templates, uh, and there's you'll see there's there's pages and pages of them. Uh, but you get access to all of them in this uh, in your 30 day trial. So something else I wanted to do, which I didn't do in the first video, is actually show you the lead pages uh, interface. Now this is the original lead pages interface. So there's, you can see it's relatively simple. Um, you can just, you can click and highlight, change text. Uh, you, you can't move things around, which was one of the, one of the gripes I had with the, with lead pages before they released the drag and drop builder, which I'll show you that one in a second. Um, you can hide elements, you can edit text. Um, you can't, like I said, you can't move them around. You can change, change the images. Um, it's, you just, uh, it was, these, it's really simple to set up. You can pretty much set these up in minutes, but you have to follow the standard format. You can still change font and size of the text, bold, italics. So you can pretty much do what you, what you can normally do, but the, the issue I had was, sometimes I might have wanted to add a countdown timer or, or something, something additional, uh, and it wasn't possible with using one of their, one of their out of the box templates. So what lead pages have done recently is they've introduced a drag and drop builder. This is one of the pages you get access to when you start your 30 day trial. Now you can see you've got still the same type of elements in here, uh, but the difference is now you can drag them around. You can pretty much put them wherever you want. Um, you can change the text same as you could with the original one. Um, you've got now an option that if I wanted to put a countdown timer in here, I obviously wouldn't, but in case I did, um, I can now put a section in there, go to widgets, and I could drag a button, a countdown timer, an image, drag a countdown timer in there just to show you. Uh, you can change the style of the countdown timer. If I want to do it as a box in, I could change the color. Uh, if I want to do it as a purple, um, and even whenever the, whenever the date expires. So uh, it's very simple to use. You can delete it, say I didn't want it anymore. Delete, I don't want that section to be there at all delete that so it's very simple to use and that's that's a, a game changer for lead pages and it, and it really uh, puts them puts the value that you get in lead pages way ahead of, of uh, many of the other uh, landing page builders I want to show you one more thing quickly uh, when your 30 day trial is up but as I said make sure you bookmark today's date or two to three days before two to three days before today's date um, so you can either cancel your cancel your subscription so you don't get billed uh, at the end of the month, or uh, you can downgrade or pretty much choose whatever, whatever plan you want to go on, whether that's the quarterly, annually, or, or every two-year plan. I just want to show you where that option is. So 
When you've logged in, you'll see your name up here. Click on that and go to billing. So when you get to billing, you'll see when your next payment will come out. Um, this one, like I said, it's best to have a look at this date and bookmark three days before this date so you can decide what you want to do. If you want to continue your standard annual subscription, there's nothing for you to do. It'll, that amount will just come out uh, on the date here. If you wanted to upgrade your account, you can upgrade your account in the tab here. Uh, but if you wanted to downgrade uh, your account, now this is where, you, where say you wanted to, you want to continue with lead pages, but you want to only pay the quarterly plan. So you don't want the annual subscription. There's no easy way to do it on this page. Um, so the only way you can do it, and they will do it for you, is click on the question mark here and create a ticket. Now, in there, just say that you, wanna, you want to downgrade your subscription, you want to continue with lead pages, but you want to downgrade it to the quarterly plan, and lead pages uh, support will do that for you. So that's not a problem. They still keep you as a customer, so uh, that's a good thing for them. So if you don't want to continue your lead pages subscription, uh, you want to actually cancel, come down here to delete my account, click on delete my account, and it's saying it'll be inaccessible. So as soon as you delete this account, any pages you've created will be gone. Um, so make sure that if you have created some pages, then your only option really is to continue with, um, with your lead page subscription. But if you're prepared to cancel and you don't have anything that you're worried about losing, um, click that button, indicate the reason. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. Uh, we could choose something else. We could write a reason, not using it, that's fine. Uh, just click no thanks, I still want to delete my account. You can put a reason. I don't think it's mandatory, let's find out if it isn't delete account, um, read all this, make sure you're okay with it. It's asking you to confirm that you're okay with it or price of lead pages likely go up and click delete account. So there you go, account refunded. So you're pretty much done. So there you have it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy lead pages. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'm always uh, checking the comments uh, and I'll answer what I can. So uh, thanks again. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.